In 16, we start looking at lines and planes using vectors. And we can write a line in vector form as a point written in vector notation. So if the point is 2 comma 3, we'd write it as 2, 3 as the vertical column vector, plus the parameter t times vector b, where b is the direction vector for our line. So I want to write the vector, the parametric, and the Cartesian equations for a line passing through the point 1 comma 5 with direction vector of 3 comma 2. So the vector equation and instead of r we would say that this is xy. That's our vector equation. Our parametric equations would be x equals 1 plus 3t. I'm just going straight across the first row equating things. And then y equals 5 plus 2t. To go from parametric form to Cartesian equations, what we need to do is we need to solve these both for t and then equate them solving for y. So the first equation yields t equals x minus 1 over 3. The second one gives us t equals y minus 5 over 2. We set these equal and we solve for y. And if we cross multiply distribute, get y by itself, we end up with, I guess in standard form, we could go there first, 2x minus 2 equals 3y minus 15, so 2x minus 3y equals negative 13. That would be standard or general form. To find the angle between two lines, this is no different than what we looked at in the vectors section. We're going to use the dot product to figure out what the cosine of our angle equals. And all that matters here are the direction vectors. We don't care what points these lines go through because the direction vectors are going to be the same no matter what point it goes through. So we'll take the dot product of these two, and when we do this, we talk about the acute angle just to standardize on something. So line one is this. We're using lambda instead of t. Line two is given down there. And what we need is a direction vector for each of these. I'll say b1 is equal to negative 3, 1, negative 2. I'm using the coefficients of lambda, the parameter, to get my direction. To deal with the second one, we need to introduce a parameter and say that y is equal to t. So then 1 minus x over 3 equals t. Therefore, x equals negative 3t minus 1. And we also know that 2 minus z over 2 equals t. Therefore, z is equal to negative 2t plus 2. b2 is negative 3, 1, negative 2. What hopefully you can notice at this point is that these direction vectors are identical, which means that they're parallel. And these lines actually are coinciding lines. They're the same line. But to show this using the dot product, using this formula that we had, we're going to have 9 plus 1 plus 4 on the top. That's the dot product over the magnitudes of these, and the magnitude of each is the square root of 14. 
cosine theta equals one, therefore theta, the angle in between, is equal to zero degrees. Here we're using a vector to give us, to help us find an object's position. And we're given it in unit vector form. We can write this position as a vector equation. Our point is 510 plus t, and then the direction vector is 3, negative 1. So x, y can be given by 5 plus 3t and 10 minus t. To find the position at t equals 3, we're just going to plug in 3 to each of these things. So the new position after 3 seconds is 14, 7. In order to find the time when the object is due east of 0, 0, there the y coordinate would be 0. So it's going to be x, 0 So solving this t is equal to 10 minutes. The direction that I left off here is it's moving in a direction of 3, 4. It's moving at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour. We want to write an expression for the position of the ship where t is the number of hours after leaving point A. So the point that it starts at is negative 8, 3 plus t times 3, 4. But 3, 4 isn't going to work here because that only has a magnitude of 5. To get an object's position, we take its starting point and add on its velocity times how long it's been going. Its velocity isn't given by this vector, that's just the direction. So we need to think about this, that since 3 comma 4, since the magnitude of that would be 3 squared plus 4 squared, or 5, the velocity vector that we're going to put here is 6, 8. That will have a magnitude of 10 for us, which is what we're told in this problem. And we could write this as a single vector, negative 8 plus 6t, 3 plus 8t. The ship is going to be closest to point P, which was at 10, 2 down here, when PR is perpendicular to this direction vector of 3, 4, which means that PR and 3, 4 need to have a dot product equal to zero. 
the reason this helps me is I have an expression that I can use for PR in vector form. We came up with this parametric form for any XY ordered pair, which is what R is. So PR will be point R minus point P. So negative 8 plus 6T minus 10, 3 plus 8t minus 2. The dot product of that with 3, 4 must equal 0. And so when we find the dot product, we end up getting 3 times 6t minus 18 plus 4 times 1 plus 8t equals zero. We can solve this distributing and combining like terms. We end up with 50t minus 50 equals zero. Therefore, t is equal to one. So the ship is closest to port P after one hour.